Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Wasmatic and this is my second guide in Fallout 4's builds, using the build system in Fallout 4. And uh, if you haven't seen the first guide, there'll be a link to it in the description below. Uh, that was a, an explanation of the basics, showing what the specials are, what your attributes are, and what perks uh, across the board are. So if, you, if you're if you familiar with Fallout and the Fallout games, you probably don't need to watch that first one. If you'd like a reminder, it's really for people who either haven't played or, or haven't played Fallout 3 or any of the previous Fallout games or um, are looking to start playing Fallout 4 and, and just like a bit of information about how to plan their character. This guide is about my build, my first build in the game. I'm treating every build as a starter build. So that means you have 21 points in to, to distribute across your specials. This build is one of my personal favorites in any game. It's the, it's the personal favorite of mine from Skyrim. It's the sneaky, thieving, lock picking, in Fallout 4, hacking, assassination, sniper, rifles, pistols build. Uh, this build focuses very heavily on combat using the VAT system, which is the Vault Assisted Targeting System, and its core element is Sneak. If you get detected, you lose the element of surprise. So this, this build is very similar to my build in, uh, I used in Skyrim, and I, haven't, I wasn't YouTubing when I did that, but this is around um, gaining access to every area in the game, so through hacking and lockpicking, Pickpocketing, if you so choose to do that, that's um, that can be quite fun and also quite risky in the early stages. And also using pistols and sniper rifles for incredibly high levels of accuracy. There's some crafting in here as well, which focuses on the guns because it's a guns-focused build. Um, so without further ado, I will dive in and let's start with looking at the specials first you would want for this now i have um i have actually put points into some of the specials since i started this build so this isn't a reflection of the the number of points you would need at the starter so three primary attributes you will want in this build are perception intelligence and most important of all agility now in agility in this build you want the full 10 points because you will want to get to Gun Fu, which I will talk you through in a minute. Um, the skills that you will pick, I will run through shortly, but uh, in Intelligence, you would want to start with eight points. And then in Perception, um, you'll actually need four points. So that's looking at 18. So you're on 22 points there. I'd actually, um, I started on 21. I didn't have as high a points uh, in, in Intelligence. You could opt in this build to not have some of the intelligence and put more points into perception or also put some points into luck and considering putting some points into luck but as a starter for 10 you absolutely need your agility skills agility every single element of combat you undertake in this build is hopefully if you play the game right you will be attacking from a sneaked and undetected position and you will be attacking using your vaults assisted targeting system so First and foremost, agility is really important because it gives you um, larger, the more points you have in agility, the, norm, the greater the number of action points you have in the vault's assisted targeting system. It improves your ability to sneak, and that's one of the perks that you can put in further down the line. That's why you need agility. It's the ability to sneak and the number of shots you can fire in the vault's assisted targeting system. Secondly is perception. It increases your environmental awareness, so you are you are able to detect people better than they can detect you. And it also, and this is the primary reason for taking perception, is to affect your weapon accuracy in the vault's assisted targeting system. So through agility you get more points to shoot. Through perception you increase the accuracy of those shots that you do fire. Uh, in intelligence, uh, we, we've got uh, intelligence primarily affects the, the rate at which you gain experience, but that's not why we picked it in this build. And um, it would appear that I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight points in intelligence. And here is where the question is. I put eight points into intelligence originally because I wanted to access both science and robotics. Now, since I've been playing through the game, I planned this build before the game came out. I've subsequently found that I probably won't use energy weapons, so I don't need science, which is a rank 8 perk. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm probably not going to be using robotics, certainly not before level 50. So let me run through the build as it should be. 
agility is the first one and to get all of these builds uh, accurate uh, to get this build completed as I've designed it you will need to get to level 47 to have maximize all the points and all of the perks that's assuming you don't take any science and you don't take any robotics I've also dropped uh, from my original build something called moving target but I'll go on to that so agility first and foremost you will need um, your primary attack in this your only damage and attack in this build will be through weapons so you will use rifles sniper rifles and pistols these are non-automatic weapons and you will put your points into non-automatic non weapons and gain significant amount of damage um, generally the non-automatic weapons have a higher accuracy so that will improve your uh, attack accuracy in, in the vault system as well so you're sneaking around you attack from range um, I generally, when I take a base, I will sneak around the outside of the base and snipe everyone that I can see, then sneak in closer, use a rifle, silenced rifle again, to snipe, to, to take out people I can see, and then once I get inside, I use the suppressed pistol. So here we go, Gunslinger. You will want maximum points in Gunslinger, five points. The more points you have in there, as you can see, non-automatic pistols now do more damage and the range is increased further as you put points into that. Non-automatic pistols now do double the damage, their effects have a better chance to disarm opponents and may even cripple a limb. So if you're firing from ranged, you can disarm at uh, rank 4, so I'm just one, one point away from rank 4. You can disarm your opponents and then obviously you can cripple a limb if you choose to hit a limb in, in a bolt assisted targeting system. You don't want commando because that's automatic weapons and this build does not focus on automatic weapons primary first and foremost skill that you need to undertake every chance you get the opportunity to put a point into sneak that's where you put your points without sneak you will not be able to play this build effectively now the important thing to note about this build is this is very difficult to play in the early stages of the game when you're when you have a low sneak capability you are easier to detect and therefore your early stages of the game will prove more challenging I'm round about level 20 I'm level 25 now and I've just started tipping into where the build starts to become overpowered. So I am now very difficult to detect. I can snipe from range. Um, I get critical damage from range as well because of where I've spent some of the points. So really really important that every chance you get the opportunity to put a point in sneak that's what you do. This is a great build to play. I love playing this sneaky build. If you play it right, they'll never see you. They will never see you, they'll never find you, and you will never have anywhere in the game you can't access. So, Gunslinger, sneak, keep going, running, uh, engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you, that's the highest rank. You will want to put three points into Mr. Sandman, not because you can kill people when they're asleep, because to be perfectly honest, if your sneak is high enough, you can kill anyone when they're asleep. This is because silence weapons do an additional 15% sneak attack damage. Now that I'm not sure at the moment in the terms of the game mechanics how's that how that stacks with a later skill, but I will go on to that. Um, the build also, if you choose to do so, you can put two points into Action Boy, which means your action points regenerate 25% faster. I would have said before the game came out that's a must, but I have subsequently found weapons and armor that are modded so you actually get faster action point regeneration. So think about that one before you put any points in. I haven't yet, and I may not do so. Um, moving target, again, I do not put any points into that. This is a damage reduction uh, when you're sprinting, because if I'm playing the build right, I'll never be seen anyway, so I'll never need to run away. This is where I, I am not sure whether this Mr. Sandman with a 15% sneak attack damage stacks with Ninja, where your ranged sneak attacks at the first level do, do two and a half times the normal damage. At the second level, they do three times the normal da damage. This is ranged attacks. And at the, fin the end level, your ranged sneak attacks do three and a half times the normal damage. Now, that's a sneak critical, as they call it. It's sneak critical uh, damage attack, which is different from the normal criticals you get in VATS, but I'll cover that in a second. So, really important, if you stack Ninja with your Mr. Sandman, you're going to do your first attack from Sneak, and possibly every other attack, if you can stay hidden, is really important, so you get those massive hits in without being detected. It's great fun to play. Now, I've got a point in Quick Hands, because you're using sniper rifles and non-automatic weapons, so the faster reload, the better, but again, I wouldn't say that's absolutely vital. And then, finally, I... 
you want gun fu. Now I haven't put any points into gun fu yet, but 25% uh, more damage to your second VATS target and beyond, so you're stacking the amount of damage you do on groups. Again, I'm going to put points into that. I'm going to max that out at three points. You can choose that whether you do that or not. So that's your agility. Really important. Only I was going to do a, a chart in this build and show what points you should take when, when you're levelling up. But I thought, you guys don't need me to be that prescriptive. If I tell you where to put the points, you can choose when to do it. With the only caveat that I would say in this build, get sneak whenever you can. Like I said, it will be difficult to play in the early stages, but as you get higher up, it starts to become more fun and much easier. Uh, so in intelligence, now intelligence I have put some points into medic, I put one point into medic, I had in the original build decided to put full four points into medic, I'm now not sure whether I would need to do that because I very rarely get detected, but if you wanted to do that, I haven't put any points in endurance either so increasing the amount that Stimpaks heal is pointless because I'm still healing fairly well. So you, you could use medic if you want, I would suggest probably not for this build. Um, Gun nut, absolutely vital. If you are going to be using non-automatic -auto weapons, sniper rifles, rifles and pistols, um, get gun nut. The ability to modify your own weapons is absolutely prime priority simply because you can modify your weapons to have pistols. So if you loot a weapon from a legendary monster or mob, um, you can stick a suppressor on it and it will work with this build. So I would absolutely advocate getting all four points into, into your gun mods. Um, and that will stick with you right throughout the game then. Uh, hacker, I would recommend putting four points into Hacker. Again, the premise of the build is nowhere is inaccessible to you. Everything is stealable and you never get detected. So Hacker, you get four points into Hacker. That means that you can hack any level of ter terminal and you can access any area of the game. You will find early on that sometimes you will find a master terminal in a fairly low level quest, but I think all I do is save that and go back. And... Uh, Okay, so that was it for science. Like I said, my original build, I would put in science as a skill and I'd put in robotics. Um, I may well go to robotics once I've maxed out all the other points, but you could probably drop these points here and just have six points in intelligence and maybe drop two points into perception or grab the first, an extra two or three points in luck, maybe. I don't know. So you have agility, you have intelligence in perception. Again, to make sure that everywhere is accessible to you, I'll start up here. You want to... Um, I don't know why I have that many points in perception. Oh, it, it was because I wanted the increase in the accuracy in bats. Sorry. So, uh, points in perception, you want pickpocket. Now, I would recommend, having played through the game, I put points into pickpocket fairly early on. What I found is, because my sneak wasn't high enough, I was generally getting detected, and when I did pickpocket, I was generally getting detected, so there's a lot of quick saving and quick loading. My recommendation is get sneak high enough, play through the game, and then start to level pickpocket. Just a suggestion. Secondly, because you want the flexibility of sniper rifles and rifles, you want to maximise all five points in riflemen where you do more damage and exor ignore a target's armour. So there you go. That's absolutely vital. Um, awareness I haven't bothered with, and I wouldn't. I just need the points for perception. And then finally, so the highest level you will go, again, working on the premise that nowhere is inaccessible to you, is uh, getting four points into locksmith, so you can pick expert locks. And when you get to the highest level, which is similar to Skyrim here, your bobby pins never break. So you can continue to just have one bobby pin and, and uh, access everywhere. So that's it. Again, to, to reflect over the build, you want 10 points in agility and your primary attribute that you focus on every chance you get is sneak. You want gun fu, quick hands, ninja, action boy and moving target if you choose. I, I, haven't, I, I won't be putting points into there. Mr. Sandman, sneak and gunslinger. And Mr. Sandman because that works with, with the ninja attack as well from stealth. Um, in perception, you want four points. Now I've put, I know I've got more than four points in here, but I would recommend only having four points. So you want locksmith at level four, awareness at level three, rifleman at level two, and then pickpocket at level one. You want to maximise those out. Again, recommendation is leave pickpocket until later in the game when you've maximised your sneak. And then finally, intelligence. I've put, I would put five points into intelligence, and I would grab medic if you choose. Maybe not. Um, 
gun nut absolutely vital to access the modifications for the weapons as you go through the game and, and very important to put your suppressors on the weapons that you have hacker so you can get get in everywhere and steal everything you want and then rank five is scrapper you will want scrapper because if you're if you're there are some components in the game that are incredibly difficult to get hold of and you may have seen some parodies on on facebook about people looking for adhesive Adhesive is very hard to get hold of. Early on in the game, screws are very difficult to get hold of. Now, what Scrapper gives you is the ability to scrap a weapon that you find or a piece of armor, and you can extract these materials from it. So the higher level you get, so like at rank one there, for example, I can get screws, aluminium, and copper. At rank two, I can get nuclear material, fiber optics, um, and circuitry. Sorry, you can scrap rare components like no, no, sorry, you scrap those components, um, which you can't do earlier on in the game. So sorry, misleading you there. So that's the build. It is all about being a sneaky thief, and um, it, I'm finding it's very, very fun, fun build to play. The other element that I will show you, if if you get a chance to do the railroad quests do those quests sooner rather than later because when you get to the end of that quest chain you will get this weapon which is um, called the deliverer and it comes with a suppressor i haven't modified it yet but i can put a longer barrel on it if i so choose the damage doesn't look great but what this does do which is absolutely fantastic is it gives you improved hit chance in VAT so your accuracy increases and also costs 25 percent less in your action points this means i can take on a group of five six or seven mobs and i can probably get off three or four shots on each of them with my current action pool it's a really good weapon to have um, there are also some um i don't think i have them here there are also some uh, armors you get early on in the game now these are all muffled and shadowed because they they improve your sneak ability i did also have a chest piece which gave me um there you go increases the action point refresh speed so you can see that if you can get the right armor and the right weapon you can really start to enhance that vaults the vats targeting system and also the um the number of action points you have the action point regeneration and number of shots you can fire per per uh, combat scenario so that's it guys this is this is always my best build to play i sneak around i steal everything not that you need to in fallout 4 but it was good it's good fun uh, everywhere is accessible to me and very very rarely do i actually end up getting shot at or actually entering into a full-blown combat system because i just sneak and snipe and um, generally even on the legendary mobs you can take them out before they even see you Thank you very much for listening. I've waffled on far too long now. This is a great, great build to play. Um, so please give me a like if you think you're going to give it a go. Um, comment or, as ever, give me a subscribe. There's more coming. I'm probably going to focus on a tank build next, I think. So thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>